light. It brightens your day, breaks the darkness, enables things to grow. There's a reason we say this place, this campus, makes people's faces light up. A year ago, we asked what was next. This is what Missouri State has brought to light. Missouri State has continued to illuminate Southwest Missouri and the world with an academic profile that has created tomorrow's leaders. Missouri legislators see the difference we're making together and approved a record amount of state funding for MSU. We're now classified as a doctoral university. More postgraduate degree options are on the way. We're also expanding the nursing program to help fill a key skills gap in Missouri. Mechanical engineering is here too. That's part of a growing cooperative engineering program with Missouri S&T. And that's not to mention two online programs that receive top awards. A record number of research grant dollars ensures our faculty will continue to make a better world. In addition, private gifts exceeded $20 million for the second straight year. Meanwhile, three new college deans are set to lead their faculty and students toward their next great accomplishments. Thanks to a transformational gift from the Macquarie family, students will be able to better serve their community. A new classroom, more scholarships, and greater faculty support are on the way for the newly named Macquarie College of Health and Human Services. Some of those students work at the MSU Care Clinic, which celebrated its third year of service and more than 12,000 appointments for homeless and underinsured people. The health of our campus community matters too. The Majors Health and Wellness Center earned a perfect accreditation score, meaning it met nationally recognized standards for excellent healthcare. Becoming an all Steinway school was music to our ears. So was opera students placing in a national competition. Students also earned awards for plant science and debate, setting the stage to bring light to those issues in the future. Access to quality facilities is critical to student success. Missouri State reopened Hill Hall after a renovation and dedicated Hasdar Hall on the West Plains campus. Expansion of the E-Factory and Jordan Valley Innovation Center are the next projects to get the green light, improving campus and downtown Springfield. The university's overall progress with infrastructure earned us the Springfield Contractors Association Developer of the Year Award. Missouri State continues to make progress as an inclusive campus as well. We celebrated a decade of partnership with the Wyman Foundation to help students from all backgrounds access higher education. The first Bear Power cohort is off to a strong start. The university dedicated MPHC plots outside of McDonald Arena, ensuring that the Divine Nine will always be represented on campus. After a run to the Sweet 16, the Lady Bears have some new moxie. They said goodbye to Coach Harper and welcomed Coach Mox. It's truly a blessing. It's a blessing to be a part of such a program with rich history, tremendous, tremendous administrative support, community support, and talented players. I am so excited and ready for this journey ahead. With a loaded roster, the Lady Bears will drive the program further into the light of national prominence. Basketball Bears head coach Dana Ford exceeded expectations during the first year of his tenure. His roster for this season is one of the most talented Bear squads in years, one that will aim for a Missouri Valley Conference title. Missouri State brought a big name to campus with the hire of Carmelita Jetter. She's the fastest woman alive, an Olympic gold medalist, and our new track and field associate head coach. She is committed to bring top-notch talent to the program. You could say the future looks bright, exceedingly bright. That's what's new at MSU.